Hello, this is Poppy Little with MakerBot Learning. Today I'm going to show you how to convert a JPEG into an SVG, which you can bring into numerous 3D modeling programs and print. So to begin you have to start with a photograph. I have a photograph of the two drawings here on screen. I'm using Photoshop. You don't have to use Photoshop to do this kind of cleanup, but it does improve the results. Um, I could take this file directly into a JPEG to SVG converter and get a pretty accurate image, um, but there would be debris where this screen is and where this shape is and maybe where a shadow is. So I'm just going to clean it up really quickly. Um, to do that in Photoshop or other 3D, sorry, photograph editing softwares, you can go up to Image and Control Brightness Contrast. I'm just going to bring that all the way up. I also have to crop it, take out that green part. I'm going to only crop it to one of the shapes. Let's do this one here. That'll make it easier when I bring it into a 3D modeling program. And then I'm going to change the levels. Voila. So I'm going to save this, make sure it's a JPEG, excellent. Now I'm going over to Chrome and I did an SVG converter, basically you can Google this with SGV converter like that. And the first link that will show up is this one here. It's a little bit confusing, but you're going to click on this choose file in the middle of the screen and you're going to go find your picture you just edited and convert. Now when you take a JPEG and convert it into an SVG, the file type or the file size is going to be really large. Like, we'll see, I'll show you in a sec. So my picture is downloaded SVG. I'm going to create a new design in Tinkercad. Sorry, I went over to Tinkercad. Tinkercad's one of the best free softwares available today um, that's really introductory. It has tons of lessons um, that walk you through how to use it in the program itself. Very helpful. If you've never used Tinkercad before, it's one of the easiest programs to get started with and definitely one of the best programs for younger students. So that's kind of in the first to fourth grade range. Um, it's also appropriate for people that have never used 3D modeling before um, in, at any age. So I'm in the design program now, Tinkercad. I'm going to import my file. Um, you can also import 3D shapes, but keep in mind if you want to import 2D, it has to be an SVG. That's your scalable vector graphic that we just converted. So I'm going to bring in my picture. It gives me some options for scale and height, but I'm not going to touch that right now. And you'll notice that our file is huge when it's brought into this program. A lot bigger than how we drew it, which if you're following along with the lesson should be um, 50 millimeters by 50 millimeters, which is about 2 inches diameter. So this is definitely not... Um, I'll bring out my ruler from Helpers, and you'll notice that it's uh, quite larger than how I drew it, but that's okay. In this program, I'm just going to type in 50 and 50. So it's now the correct size, and for extrusion, we're going to only make it 3 millimeters tall, which is about the depth of a piece of cardboard. So if we use the cardboard supplemental connectors at the end of this project, you can combine them together and they'll all fit. So that wasn't too hard. Um, very quickly, just after converting and bringing it into Tinkercad, we have a file that we can print that's sized correctly. About 50, 50, with 3 millimeters. Going to go up to Design and Download for 3D Printing. Make sure you pick either STL or OBJ. It'll download into your Downloads folder. And then you can bring it into MakerBot Desktop. Mine's going to bounce for a bit. Voila! Now you're ready to print. Um, 
The project says that if you keep it this size, so 50, 53 millimeters, you should be able to print two per student that will take about an hour. Um, it's also a good idea that you plate by color. So if you want a bunch of the connectors to be yellow, you should put all the connectors that are supposed to be yellow on one plate, and then it'll save you print time. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough, um, and I hope you enjoyed the whole project. It makes some really cool stuff. I've been playing a lot with it, and uh, I'll see you next time.